Hey there, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can buy coins on Binance in Canada. So basically I've created this document over here where I've put together all of the different steps and the videos involved with buying on Binance all in this single document. Now the purpose of this document is just to make it simpler for you to buy and so that way you don't have to kind of piece together the different parts or the different steps. So I've created this document that you can check out. I'll leave a link down below so that way you can buy your coins all within three simple steps There's a fourth step which is optional, but more or less three simple steps I also wanted to point out that the reason why I made this guide over here is because it's really Challenging to buy directly from Binance in Canada as either it's expensive or the funding method doesn't consistently work So this is both cheaper and works more consistently consistently in terms of being able to buy coins on Binance in Canada. So in this video, I'm just going to briefly go over some of these steps over here just so that you have a better understanding of what to do. So basically in step one over here, what you'll want to do is click on this link and when you do, it'll bring you to a page that looks like this. You'll want to make sure it's on spot markets and then you'll want to click over here to fiat markets. And then when you click on that, you'll then want to enter the coins symbol in here so let's just say you're interested in Bitcoin well Bitcoin's symbol is BTC and then it'll automatically refresh to the different sort of coins if you want Binance coin Binance is BNB so if I type in BNB you'll see that it's automatically refreshing or let's just say you want Cardano which is ADA so then there you go so that's pretty much what you'll need to do first is to see if Binance offers the coin that you're looking to buy. Now, assuming that you've already done this and they do it, let's go to step two. And basically step two is funding Binance via Canadian crypto platform. So over here, basically, if you're going to spend more than $625 in a single purchase, you'll want to click this link here as it'll show you how to fund Binance via Patreon. Now over here, if you're funding less than $625, $25 in a single purchase then you'll want to click this link over here and it's with Newton now the reason why I've made two separate videos is because depending on the amount that you're going to purchase one platform will be cheaper than the other now I've worked out that the break-even point or the point at which Patri is more cost-effective is about $625 and again less than $625 it would go to Newton so click either one of these here for a step-by-step -step tutorial. Now the third step is to then trade your stable coin, which is maybe USDT or BUSD for your desired coin. Now I've made a video showing you how you can make a trade on Binance. So after you've completed step two and you have your coin in your account on Binance, then click over here as it'll show you what to do to make that trade. Now, those are pretty much the main sort of steps. The fourth step over here, it's more of an optional step, but what you'll want to do is to check your wallet to actually see if it's there. So if I go back to Binance over here, what I'm then going to do is hover over wallets and then click on Fiat and Spot. Now, this is my dummy account over here, so there's nothing in here, but if you've followed the steps correctly, your Fiat and Spot balance balance should be different and then you should be able to see whichever coin that you bought all over here right with the numbers appropriately reflected on that so pretty much that's how you can buy coins on Binance in Canada all within three simple steps anyways I hope you found this video informative or educational if you did please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below because I do check and I do respond if you think that there's someone who'll get some value out of this video please share with them if you're interested in receiving notifications of my future videos then hit that subscribe button other than that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye for now